Hi, I'm Kenny and I play drums. My name is Mason and I play guitar. My name is Thomas and I also play guitar. I'm Keaton and I sing. And we are too close to touch. You're watching, watching Ambi. 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 We're done. Polo. Hey everyone, it's Leisha from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Too Close to Touch. Hello. Hello. How's it going? How are you guys doing today? Good. Pretty good. Good. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty tired. I just want to say welcome to Toronto and thank you for chatting. Oh, of course. Thank you Happy for having here. us. It's my pleasure. So you've hit the road with Crown the Empire. How are all these shows treating you so far? So sick. Yeah. They're awesome. Yeah. They've been awesome. <laughs> so, 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 they're just mostly, mostly packed out, yeah. mostly uh, really energetic crowds, but so, so. <laughs> no, they're no. sick. I love seeing how interactive you are with your fans, whether it is meeting them after shows. I see so many photographs or just replying to them through Twitter. So have you had any cool interactions for this tour so far? Uh, Signed, um, oh wait, oh. at the <laughs> risk of saying something incriminating, signed a bunch of money. <laughs> A couple dollar bills and some guy. We signed some metaphorically. Guys yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Guys so legs. three legs. So there are, three thighs. All right. Three ma male thighs. Man thighs. So yeah, Man there thighs. were there were these these guys that went to my high school that I hadn't seen since high school. Okay. And then they showed up really to our show. They <laughs> they showed up to the show and said that if we signed their leg. They would go get it tattooed the next day. I didn't know that they were, like, I thought they were just doing me at first, which would make a lot more sense because we, like, went to high school mm -hmm. together. I mean, if you guys are watching this, props to you for doing it. That <laughs> yeah, is that is yeah, some ink yeah. spreadage it happened. right there. It really uh, there are photos. And then the next day, I just saw this, like, collage of our names. You, uh, so they that actually, is, they went through with it. They yeah, went through so with it. Oh, my gosh. Just Travis's like, just looks like a, like a dying <laughs> rose. They went through with <laughs> Travis's. Travis 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 your leg's famous. <laughs> <laughs> he told us to, like, make That's his amazing. leg famous. That's amazing. Let me see that, yeah, me see that yeah, one more time. Yeah, yeah Travis's looks like a really, di like a, just a dying rose. Reminds me of Nightmare. Dying rose. Yeah, I said it reminds me of Tim Burton. Yeah, Tim Burton. Tim Burton. That's wicked. How's that feel? That's commitment right there. That's cool, yeah. I know that every time that guy poops, he's going to think of us. Every time. It's going to be great. <laughs> so, or even just sits. Awesome. He's just going to look yeah, down and say, those short guys. Short shorts, yeah. Those guys were nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, so pretty excited about that. Yeah. Rock Check on. off the bucket list. <laughs> well, what can you tell me about Catfish Stevens, your band oh, touring Oh, pets? my God. Oh, that's awesome. Well, it was about 1864. 1864. I was out on a voyage <laughs> with a couple of my comrades. Oh, that was a date. Yeah. It is. I, I thought I thought you said. I thought you're going back to the 18, oh, 18, like the year. I thought you were saying 18. the year. I'm like, no, I was oh, saying man. it was right it was the year uh, back in my past <laughs> life when I was uh, spending most of my days out on the dangerous Mediterranean Sea. Uh, <laughs> it's dangerous. I dropped a I dropped a line one day uh, into the sea and felt uh, a tugging at the line. I, I knew at that moment that, that would be my future son. Uh, so uh, after uh, two or three stormy days, reeled him up from the bottom. He gave he gave a fight. Uh, it's a metaphorical birthing of Catfish Stevens out yeah. of the ocean. Uh, but yeah, so we took him. We took him and uh, yeah. I think Ernest Hemingway actually wrote a book about it. Yeah. You know what? Now that you mention it, that is my pen name. Uh, so uh, you know this is but this isn't about books. This is we'll keep it about music. <laughs> right now, but yeah, no, he uh, so yeah, he you can get books on tape this, and the soundtrack <laughs> yeah. to him catching the yeah. fish. It's beautiful. Uh, mostly our music. So he yeah. actually, uh, that's actually how we wrote it. <laughs> we actually <laughs> left him, we left him behind, uh, but in good company because on Warp Tour, we acquired a five foot stuffed ET, okay, uh, like the alien ET. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, he got some crowd surfing action in, so they'll have some good stories to share oh, back at the warehouse. We're gonna have to. There's, there's photos of that too. Yeah, we're gonna have to cut you up. You have to tell me some of those stories. Hey. Yeah. Make sure Catfish had a good time. Oh, he had a uh, great time. He had, he had a great time. <laughs> yeah, he's lived a good life for a fish. Yeah. Well, on the on the music front, it's also an exciting time for you guys. You mentioned music there. We must discuss it. Haven't been myself is officially out. Congrats. Thank, Thank you. you. You're very welcome. Very excited to have it out. Now that there's been a little bit of time to reflect on it, how are you feeling about everything right now? Feels great. Well, it's been crazy. Really yeah. Everybody seems to really like the record. 
which we're happy about. The response really like has been it. really incredible. Yeah, we, uh, we finally got a, a single to get uh, put spinning on, on Sirius. Yeah, routine. Cricket Smile. Yeah. 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 It's on regular yeah. rotation now. Thank so. you to Sirius. Yep. Yeah. Shout out XM to Sirius Radio. Thank you. It's a huge blessing and an honor to be able to hear our song on the internet radios. Got a great team that, we're, that we worked with to make that that happen. Yeah. And everyone that yeah. voted. Yeah. Yeah. So oh. before doing this interview, I kind of went on a little Twitter stock and I found some really good tweets from your individual accounts. Oh, oh God. Some gold. Here we so go. I want to, I'm going to well, say them and then I want to know the story I behind. Don't know if I, I, don't think I, <laughs> I hope to God. I hope to God. Dangerous territory I right here. There's something yeah, about yeah, scissors yeah. I right. likely don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't tweet a whole ton, so it's going to be... This is awesome. All right, so from Just Keaton, I have, our Airbnb ended up having a movie theater, so naturally I'm spending today in the most adult way possible. You were watching Finding Dory. <laughs> I was. You we were. were. I was. Yeah. We, we were, yeah. Oh, everybody was yeah, in on it. There was a theater in our in our Airbnb. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was kind of a must. Solid actually, City. Did <laughs> you. We actually started started out watching the live action Scooby Doo movie. Yeah, <laughs> that's we true. Green Room that night too. And we that watched was terrifying. Green Room. My nightmare. I spent that night at. That guy is the coolest guy. On I spent. The <laughs> I spent that night actually at a uh, Bubba Sparks concert. True. So did. I missed out on Scooby Doo for Bubba Sparks. Uh, what a shame. Scooby, Scooby Doo was. Yeah, you missed, you missed uh, on Green Room. Green room. Ooh. Which you still need to watch because it will change your world and tour. <laughs> it will terrify you. Yeah, good movie to watch. Green Room. It's a good thriller. All right, now that we know the story behind that one, I have a tweet from Kenneth. Oh, All right, nice. ready? Nice. So it's, you should never drake and drive. Okay. <laughs> what happened? Did you lose control? Um, this was just something that I said to Keaton um, because he was looking at a Drake song on his uh, Driving Safely, but he was looking for music on his phone, and there was With a Drake the song. Road. And he was like, hey, look, a Drake song. And then he kind of like swerved a little bit. <laughs> I was like, whoa, dude should never drink and drive <laughs> so yeah it was kind of just you know basically a pun <laughs> basically. <laughs> basically a pun 100% a pun factually it was a pun it was a pun <laughs> was it a pun yeah, that was that was pretty I much heard it, it was a pun it was, it was pretty pun Somebody say something about a pun down there? Funny? Funny? Pun, really that's a wonderful yeah. conversation. No, it was pretty funny in the time so I tweeted it because you know Twitter and all that. <laughs> I thought you guys needed to know. And the next one I have is from Mason. Yeah. It was, I accidentally ripped the crotch out of two pairs of jeans in two days. I did. What was going on? How did you do that? Uh, on stage. Speaking of ways, uh, <laughs> uh, go ahead and hide that from the camera. <laughs> uh, well, like, sometimes jeans are made real cheap, and sometimes they just rip right uh, in your inner thigh crotch area. <laughs> and so, uh, bless the fall, uh, bless us with uh, letting us use their stage boxes. And so, usually, I'll like throw up a leg and then like lean forward and play guitar and mm -hmm. yell lyrics at kids faces and in doing that in doing that uh, usually rips the dick out of my pants so luckily there's a guitar there so yeah. no one can really see it yeah. but it's just like yeah. you just hear it and you're like oh and uh, you just know the whole yeah. show you have to deal with it yeah, luckily, like, luckily okay, there is a guitar like, now I have to like strategically <laughs> place my guitar you haven't, gotten, have you haven't gotten new pants? Whole time just huh? You haven't bought this. new pants? You're still I just wearing did yesterday. Okay. Yeah, I just did. So I was, I've been, uh, yeah. I have other pants as well. I don't just have two pairs of pants. So. <laughs> I, I, but I did buy two pairs of pants to replace the two pairs that I ripped. So we're fine. That's Guys good. are going to be okay. I'm glad we'll to hear it. everything's good going forward. <laughs> yes, we're good. No ripped pants in Toronto tonight. Yeah, and they're like, they're less cheap. So hopefully they don't, they don't rip out. Maybe. We'll see. We'll find out tonight. Yeah. To Follow up after tonight. <laughs> yeah, no, no. We'll see. And the last one I have is from Thomas. You said that tissues are highly recommended for this new album. So is there a specific track on this record that okay. just makes you lose it? Yeah. So when the record released, the record kind of has a dark vibe to it. It's yeah. very emotional and it's kind of ambiguous throughout the whole entire record. And the last track is kind of the grand finale, which deals with a personal loss of Keaton's and it's a very emotional track and we had a lot of people who were tweeting like oh I need tissues for this song like I didn't realize the song this record would make me cry or whatever and I saw enough of those that I just thought give a public service announcement to anyone who picked up the record. <laughs> Tissues. That's very kind of you. Well, I try. Thomas is looking out for He's everybody thoughtful. all the time. He's a thoughtful yeah, guy. Everyone's interested. <laughs> yeah, very thoughtful. Yeah. Let's give it up for 
Round of applause. Thank you for, thank you for sharing. <laughs> well, sharing thank is so caring. Sharing. So. Thank you all for sharing the little behind the scenes on those. Yeah. yeah. Ask the mustache question. The mustache God. question. Why don't you ask the mustache question? What's the mustache question? Thomas, how does it feel to have that awesome mustache, man? Can we zoom in on the mustache? <laughs> it's there pretty you go. Get, get a good shot know. of that. A good zoom. It's sick. Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> But Mason's got this fresh and see, so yeah, Mason's here. got this beard, so like you know, if the rest of us could like grow nice facial I've hair. I've been working on this for a solid like six yeah. and a half years. Yeah, <laughs> seven. Keaton's never shaved. That's just what. That's just that's just how it happens. <laughs> as far as me, like yeah, I don't I don't even know what's going on in the neck region, but it's not pretty. <laughs> I want to wrap things up, bringing it back to the fans. Anything you want to say to all of them who'll be viewing the interview? Uh, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. It's a uh, this is a really important record for us to get out, and uh, definitely set the tone a little bit darker than our first record. And everyone's connected extremely well with it. And so thank you for allowing us to give you a little piece of ourselves. And then we come and play live, and we get a little piece of you in return. And it's awesome, and it keeps the little music circle of life going around. And so uh, yeah, just come out to a show and. Watch us act ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, it's a great rap, Boach. Thank you so much for chatting, guys. Thank, yeah. you. Thank, you, Thank guys. you for having us. Having My pleasure. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. And remember to everyone viewing, you can visit us at musicblogout.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite bands. See you next time. Later. Bye. Bye.